Hello everybody. This is Nerf Gun Reviewer 331 here today. If there, there's a good, there's probably going to be a couple of questions. Why am I making this video? Why am I shooting it down here? And for the love of God, why do you have a paintball pistol with a Nerf dart inside of it? To answer all those questions, hopefully in, in numerical order, um, I don't remember the first one. The second one was, why am I down here in a basement? Because it's raining and it's thundering and I'm trying to keep my mind off the thunder. It doesn't scare me, it just distracts me when I'm doing something really important. Like, like Just like right now, I'm looking over here and talking and not instead of going over here. And third of all, why do I have a paintball pistol with a pistol grip and a Nerf dart? This is gonna be a special attachment combo because a little bit, a little bit earlier on, like months, maybe even a year ago, I realized that this paintball pistol can shoot Nerf darts. Oh, sweet! I got, I got stuck to something cool. Um, this is a JT Splatmaster pistol. This is uh, it shoots these 50 caliber or .50 caliber paintball rounds. It's probably like that big around. And it just, it shoots them in, I think it was like 100 FPS, 120, 150 FPS. Like not even close to an airsoft gun or a paintball gun, a real one. But these, in fact, shoot paintballs, but they hurt less. They hurt a lot less. So what I'm going to be showing off is, why do I have a pistol grip on, or a, a, or a assault grip? On a pistol and there's a couple of reasons behind it uh, one of them was I wanted to convert this pistol this actual pistol because the magazine does nothing except just make it a little bit cooler um, uh, there was a plan in my head that I wanted to convert this like put a stock to this so it's more like like a, a sniper rifle maybe add like another barrel to this but then I realized the barrel wouldn't even stick because that's the problem. The barrel will go in and come right back out. So I'm thinking like maybe another barrel, but then I would lose the Nerf dart possibility. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just add a stock and then I lost. I am just like, nope, screw it. Put a pistol, uh, put a assault grip on this foregrip. To me, it reminds me a lot, sorry for this reference, Advanced Warfare. It reminds me of Advanced Warfare in Zombies. You get the starter pistol and you have this. And just, it reminds me of it completely. So this is why I'm making this uh, attachment combo. I'm going to call it the Special Nerf Gun Attachment Combo. Even though this is a Nerf Gun, this is a paintball gun, I understand that. It shoots Nerf Dart, so that's all I care about. <laughs> And if you don't believe me, I will find two more Nerf darts to show you. Here, we have a Zombie Strike Nerf dart. Shove it in here. Pull it back. Push it forward. Incredible power. It will sting like a mother blank. And it will, <laughs> it will most certainly hurt. Now, next up is a Velcro tip dart. Now, do keep in mind, these paintball pistols are extremely cheap. They're dirt cheap. They're like, uh, I want to say 30 bucks. They come with a mag, some ammo, and the pistol. And then the foregrip, if you have airsoft guns, you, you, you should be all set. Um, but if you don't have airsoft guns, the foregrip is probably like 10 bucks at Gainer Mountain or Dick's, depending on where you live. And the loading instructions are very simple. I just figured it out on my own. All you do is take a Nerf dart and shove it inside the hole. Not trying to sound dirty or anything. Cock it back. Again. Push it forward. Not trying to sound dirty. And then fire. And aim it down and fire. This literally shoots any Nerf dart except for the Vortex Discs the ball blasters and the mega darts although it might shoot mega darts it just it makes it goes here instead of going those aren't the real sound effects but i just wanted to make them so 
literally the foregrip all it does is add a little bit of st stability it's say like you're like on here i don't know if the camera can see me but if you're like on here or on like a ledge or something you can just go boom and then just reload the next shot the problem with this pistol is i have not found a way to make the reloading quicker or at least give it a more rate of fire so literally you just in the meantime literally all i have to do is put a dart in and then repeat cycle. Let's just put another dart in, or scrounge around in my pockets, or in on the like on the ground, and just trying to find a nerf dart. So this is honestly, I think my friend, my one of my friends, thought of the idea. Hey, paintball pistol fits nerf darts. That's pretty cool. But the pistol, the the whole foregrip idea was my idea. Just adding an attachment. Uh, you can also add like any other. Uh, airsoft attachments such as a laser sight. I mean, these come right off. These have botanic rails. I can't pronounce the word. It is hard to pronounce for me, but it has botanic uh, botanic rail. It's an airsoft rail, basically. Airsoft rail fits a foregrip. Could fit a laser sight. Easy. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the the. Uh, I don't want to say Nerf gun. I want to say paintball gun. I'm I'm gonna say this. I hope you guys. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm having a horrible time talking today. Holy crap. Hope you guys enjoyed the Nerf paintball conversion pistol thing. Uh, attachment combo. I, I'm gonna have to think of a title for this one, so without further ado, I'm gonna end the video now. See you guys later. And as always, have a great day and keep nerfing. Oh, and by the way, well, like I said before, paintball pistol by itself with a mag and about seven rounds of ammo or 14 rounds of ammo. I forget what it was. It, it gives you like two, one to two clipfuls of these. These hold seven rounds each. So, one of these pistols at jtsplitmaster.com is 30 bucks, uh, with, or, with or without taxes, depending on where you live. So, without further ado, without further ado see you guys later.